The coronavirus is back again. This time it is a variant JN1 which is making the news. We all know that corona started in 2019 and resulted in the COVID-19 pandemic which resulted in loss of millions of lives before a vaccine could be made. But ever since, the vaccine has never been eliminated and it keeps on forming new and new variants. Now, this latest variant of JN1, according to WHO, is of quite an interest because of its high rate of transmissibility and its ability to evade the immune system. So I'm Dr. Maria Matik and let's talk about this virus, the new variant, what are its symptoms, what are its precautions. In the past few weeks, 60% uh, of the new cases of flu-like symptoms have come up with this coronavirus, which is confirmed in the US. And as air traveling is frequent, so confirmed cases of corona are again seen all over the world, although very few people are getting tested. In our country also, some reports say that there are four confirmed cases and some say that there are already 16 confirmed cases. So what are the symptoms? Like before, it is causing headache, pain in the back of eyes, there is fever, there are extreme body aches, then in some there is runny nose, otherwise there is cough, there is shortness of breath and later on congestion of the lungs and the loss of sense of smell and taste. Now this new variant, it is just like any other flu-like symptoms. So what is the difference between this variant and the flu-like symptoms and the previous variants? Few changes have been seen. Now this variant is seen to have come up with some unusual symptoms in the digestive tract that along with the flu-like symptoms, there are symptoms of nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. Then eye symptoms of uh, eye infection, pink eyes, conjunctivitis can be seen along with the flu-like symptoms. Then there are uh, the skin changes in which some of the people are presenting with discoloration and swelling in parts of uh, fingers and toes. And at places there is a flat rash with bumps and sometimes those bumps have pus also. These are typically called the COVID toes. Uh, this can also affect parts of the wrist or parts of the ankle. And then there is a fourth unusual symptom of confusion, but this usually occurs in the elderly and when it is seen, it usually does not have a good outcome. So what do you do about it? First of all, we are all vaccinated. So let's get our latest updated uh, booster vaccines for Corona. And uh, this time, this is also presenting with two more viruses, the influenza virus, the SARS virus, uh, the respiratory syncytial virus, and uh, WHO fears that there may be a triple demic when all the three viruses are infecting the person together. So first and foremost, start wearing your masks again. Avoid going to the public places if you have to go then make sure that you are not right in the center of the crowd. If you are there, uh, still try to maintain a six feet distance and then wear your masks. Not just if you are having the symptoms, but even without symptoms so that if the others are having it, you don't get it. Then if you're coughing and sneezing, do those in your uh, towels, hand towels, in your uh, tissue papers and then dispose them off either in a closed container or in a cellophane and then tie it up and throw it in the dustbin. If you have nothing, then you can sneeze or cough into the elbow, not in your hands because then hands you will be using elsewhere and transmitting the disease. Then you have to wash your hands frequently. Other than that, sleep well, eat well, build up your immunity and do not forget your physical activity because this keeps you healthy and builds up your immunity. So stay safe and stay happy and share the information. Do not let Corona take over you this time because now we are already informed. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. We'll come again with another topic.